How are you doing? I'm in coronavirus pandemic situation, medical personnel in a life-saving field is always worried by dilemma of prioritization of patients to help and infection risks in hospitals or medical institutions. In Japan, the number of medical institutions that are capable of accepting patients infected by coronavirus is quite limited. Because, you know, from a hygiene perspective, to minimize the risk of spread of coronavirus infection inside medical institutions, the Japanese government set a unique standard of medical facility and building structure for medical institutions to accept uh, infected patients. So most of small self-employed medical clinic and medical institutions don't satisfy the government requirement to accept uh, infected patients. So infected patients inevitably concentrate on limited medical clinics and medical institutions that are approved for acceptance of coronavirus infected patients by the government. And medical institutions available for coronavirus infected patients are always tight to take care of and treat all patients with too few medical staff against the number of you know patients carried into these medical institutions. And all patients carried into hospitals should have serious symptom to be treated very soon. But you know, medical staff have to prioritize patients, especially with seriously heavy symptoms. To treat over hundreds of patients in a hospital in accordance with the degree of urgency judging from patients body condition and also they have to fight against the risk of hospital acquired infection even though the hosp you know even though the medical institution is approved for acceptance of infected coronavirus infected patients by the government so they have to maintain a certain number of patients in a hospital for distancing from each other to minimize the risk of infection inside the building. So in many cases, they carefully decide if they could accept newly infected patients in spite of urgent requests from ambulance service. And there's a case that a patient truly suffering from ser serious symptom of COVID-19 or made to stay in an ambulance for a long time to find an available hospital. And recently there was a sad news that an uh, old man in nearly 80 years old who had originally recuperated in, at a house at, at home for terminal cancer got infected with COVID-19 and he was finally dead even though he called, a, called an ambulance himself. And ambulance staff was earnestly looking for, you know, medical institutions that could accept him by phone. But unfortunately, one, nearly 100 hospitals and medical institutions to which he made urgent requests of acceptance all rejected his offer and request. So in the meantime, 80 years old man was dead in an ambulance because of infection of COVID-19. So I really understand the feeling of chagrin and sorrow against the fact that nobody ended up being able to save the lives of the person truly suffering from serious symptom of COVID-19 right in front of medical staff who could have been saved in a hospital. So, but there's nobody whom we can blame for this case. So, you know, it is really easy for us to criticize the domestic medical infrastructure and the medical system. But, you know, considering the number of doctors and the number of medical staff and the capacity of hospital rooms that allows uh, infected people, infected patients hospitalized 
any medical institutions were almost close to limitation and it's almost like medical collapse will be about to happen in our society but you know uh, we can manage the size of risks of COVID-19 infection with our conscience and discipline and as one possibility our attitude to prioritize our effort to refrain from going somewhere and refrain from going to places where there seem to be a lot of people and where it's difficult for us to maintain social distance from each other each, each other will reduce you know the total number of infected patients coronavirus infected patients and this consideration will definitely reduce the burden on uh, medical institutions that are always preoccupied with treatment of thousands of patients so eventually medical institutions can be ready to provide an environment where a person who truly needs treatment can receive treatment so everybody everyone in the world in the world must feel frustration in the current oppressive situation oppressive environment where we have to wear masks wherever we go and frequently and we have to give up you know entertainment we have to give up a certain entertainment but recently along with the government's easing quarantine policy for COVID-19 infection in Japan people's frustration has exploded and it is almost out of control but even in such a situation we really must control ourselves and consider you know consider the fear of other people who suffer who truly suffer from the serious symptom of COVID-19 if we have a bit patience with our pleasure like going so going somewhere and having some fun with your friends you know the number of lives to be saved will increase absolutely